In this video I'm going to show you how you can sketch and use all kinds of things to improve your sketching in Procreate using the Apple Pencil. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave van de Groot, Dutch artist. And in this video I'm going to show you uh, the sketching process of the book I'm working on uh, currently and that's Quap and the Fridge Dare. And I'm going to redraw the entire comic, which I published in 1994, so that's 28 years ago. And I'm going to redraw everything. And this time I made a setup in Procreate for the comic. It's a comic strip. I'm going to show you how I'm doing the layouts and then the tight sketching. So this is part two of the series, um, how to draw comics in Procreate. I'm now going to focus on this uh, comic strip I've made and it is a comic strip that will be published and it's called Quap and the Frigidaire and I've made a template for uh, this comic and it consists of a sketch layer and I'm just gonna select it and it consists of a layout layer and the layout and I'm just going to increase the the opacity is very loose and that's just to place the characters and then I lower this opacity and then go over it with uh, more precise penciling And then I'll do the inks. Now I also have a frame. And the great thing about, you know, working digital is that you can work in layers. And I also have a halftone mask. I'm just gonna turn off a sketch layer and this is what I end up with. For this comic, I'm gonna show you the video replay of the sketch. But first, I'm just going to uh, open up a new panel. And what I've done is I created a default comic strip. So what I do, and that's just the basic setup, I'm just going to duplicate it and then open it. And this is the basic comic strip which has the sketch layer, the halftone layer, and uh, the border, and also a layer for the inks. Usually you have to uh, export it uh, for print at 300 dpi, but this I've made a lot larger and the dimensions are 420 millimeters by 135 millimeters at 600 dpi and i do this in 600 dpi and i draw a lot larger because when you shrink it down then your inks will be more crisp so what i usually start out with is not the sketch layer but a layout layer and i use um, a default brush which is in drawing and I really like the Freysonet and what I always do is I do the uh, layouts and the sketches in blue I use that because uh, I used to draw on paper and this is a non-repro blue and it's also great you know to have it in blue pencil then it's uh, better, you know, to ink over it. So you have more of a contrast. So I just set this brush to 4% and I'm just gonna sketch Quap Hippo and just to place him in a frame. And I'm using a lot of circles to, to draw with. And 
and this is just a rough you know layout to lay out uh, the character where he's standing and also bring in the background he's looking at something and the layout doesn't have to be um, perfect. This is just how to place the characters. And you know, when you're drawing in a separate layer, you can move them around or you know make them bigger or smaller. And if you sometimes have a background, you can create a new layer. So you have the character on a separate layer, so you still can move them around. And also the quick line is very nice to use. So you just draw a line and then tap your finger on it. And then it's a perpendicular um, line. And then when I finished the layout, I'm just going to merge the two layers into one layer. And then I can lower the opacity. So now I can go over it and do the sketch layer. And for the sketch layer, I'm just using uh, the default sketching brush, the 6B. And then I can refine sketch. I'm always drawing with, with guidelines you know, to get the proportions of the character right. And most of the time, characters have an eye in between the other eyes. And he's looking at something. And the left eye or actually it's the right eye is a little bit smaller because it is in perspective. You can also use the quick line feature or the, the, the shape tool if you want a perfect circle or an ellipse and use that as a base, you know, to do your entire sketching. He has funny little ears that look like stop signs. And, you know, when you draw something and just keep your Apple Pencil on the screen, then it will create a shape. And I just want a circle and then you can move it around. And I'm just finding the right line, you know, the right shape to the character. I always think in, in bigger shapes and then refine it later on. So here is his arm and his hand, which is also a circle. Everything is built around circles and, and bigger shapes. So this is how I build up my uh, sketches. And th this is just my way of drawing. You know, everything ha everyone has uh, another approach to drawing. And 
Now a great thing about this is that you also can use the selection tool and if you're not satisfied with the size of a head or just want to tilt it a little bit you can do that with the selection tool sometimes I use the liquify tool and there you have different options and most of the time I use the push function you know to push things around and in the middle you can push and just refine your sketch and this hand is a little bit too big so you can also use pinch to make it a little bit smaller so here's a replay of the panel I just drew and I start out with a layout and it's just very basic and I use a very big brush and this is of course uh, fast forwarded and what I always like to do is just draw a little bit of a grid so that I can place the characters in the right place and to get a more dynamic shot. So here is Quap Hippo and they're looking at a, a dense forest together with uh, a little bird which is called Junior. It's a red robin. And once I have done all of the, the layouts I can sketch over it in a separate layer. And it's just, you know, with sketching is finding the right uh, dimensions of the character and also the uh, attitude of the character and you know if you have a basic layout it's much easier to do the sketch because uh, an empty page is always a bit scary so with the layout you just break you know through that empty uh, page feeling and now I'm just building up on to the layout and do these sketches uh, on a separate layer. When you start out uh, with a comic, you know, uh, I drew this character 28 years ago, so I really needed to get back in shape and what he looked like. And this is, of course, an improvement of uh, the work I did 28 years ago. So I'm just building up uh, the sketches and sometimes I'm very refined so I find some reference of plants and also of flowers and in this composition I just want to have the flowers in front so you get a more dynamic feel of uh, of the image There's a little birch tree in, in the background and some mountains. And this is not really a tight sketch because I want to do um, or keep the uh, inks a little bit more spontaneous. So after I've done with um, the pencils I will do the inks on a separate layer and in the next video I will do uh, a tutorial on how to ink and I also created a new brush set which is called the Stave Comic Inks it's now available on on Gumroad and it's 14 brushes so everything I inked uh, for this Quap uh, and the Fridge Dare story was done with uh, a sable brush and it's a whole set of uh, different brushes so there's also a crow quill pen and some dip pens and also some fine liners so with these brushes you can ink in any comic style i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell 
because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.